Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the three popular waves. Those are nothing but radio waves, in uh, microwave, and infrared waves, guys. Okay, so we'll be discussing about these three. We'll be going through some advantages, and we'll be also checking the frequency, like what is the range of frequency where they will be working. Okay, yes. So the radio waves. So basically, one whenever you will be hearing the word radio, you will be saying that it is a device in which we will be listening songs and news and all those things, right? Yes, you are correct. So those devices use radio waves to send the data, guys. So basically, the range of these things is really low. So that is the reason why they will be saying your city radio, right? So Hyderabad radio or Chennai radio or Bangalore radio, like that. They will be using some specific words, right? And it will be in some particular region only. So as you move out of that region. you cannot connect it to that particular frequency guys so 99.5 fm like that there are multiple frequencies right yes okay so radio waves so these are easy to generate and can penetrate through buildings guys so assume that you are inside your house and you are you are tuning into your radio so you are setting it to 99.5 fm okay yes so in this situation you can set it inside your home also right and you can even listen it from inside your home by closing all the doors and everything right yes so basically these radio waves can penetrate through walls and buildings also okay so the frequency range is from 3 kilo hertz to 1 gigahertz guys okay so the best example for radio waves is nothing but our fm radio the advantages of radio waves is nothing but it covers a large area and penetrate through walls okay so it provides high transmission rates so basically the data transmission can be a bit fast and there will be no lags or any kind of cuts in that guys okay yes okay so moving on to microwaves okay so it is a line of sight transmission okay so basically radio waves there is no particular direction guys so basically if there is this is a radio tower so it will transmit in all directions guys so basically a person here can listen like this so i am just drawing some kind of a line of sight you can say okay some line showing that how the data is received by him so here there might be someone so for him it will might be directly right so in that way so there is no particular direction you can say but coming to microwaves there should be a line of sight guys so basically if this device is sending some signal and this receiver is here and this sender is here so in this situation these two devices should be like straight to each other so the line of sight should be proper only then the sending of data can be done and the receiving of data is also done so basically here we will be using some antennas you can say like our tv dish antennas or something like that right yes so basically using these antennas only the data transfer will be done properly okay so it is a line of sight transmission that is the sending and receiving antennas needed to be properly aligned to each other so there should be aligned properly only then the data transfer will be done guys okay yes so let us now go through the frequency ranges it is nothing but 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz so if you observe after radio waves we will be getting microwaves guys okay so the examples will be your tv antennas and satellites guys okay so the major advantages of these are nothing but the chi cheaper than cables so basically instead of buying coaxial cables for kilometers or meters or too far you can directly establish these antennas and you can transfer the data okay similarly the, the these can work in larger areas also the disadvantage is nothing but the bandwidth is limited the speed is limited you cannot send at higher rates guys okay so that is the only disadvantage you can say and one more disadvantage will be the line of sight should be proper so if there is some kind of object in between or anything it cannot transfer the data properly okay so continuing to infrared okay so as you are observing you can say so infrared will be for really short distances right yes so infrared waves are used for very short distances and these can't even pass through walls guys so the best example for this is gps so you might be saying that okay so gps will not work when we are inside our home so you might be thinking like that right yes so basically it will work but it will not work in a perfect way so if you want me to say an example so assume that you are going there is a bridge you are traveling from one place to another place there is a bridge guys okay so now your vehicle has a chance to climb up on to the bridge like to go on upon the bridge or it can even travel beside it and it can go under the bridge so in this situation so i observed this many times guys so your navigation like when we will be using google maps right commonly yes so whenever you are opening the google maps even you are you did not take up the bridge so you did not enter the bridge even then it will be thinking that you are on the bridge 
basically you are below the bridge so in these kind of things and sometimes you are traveling but it will say that you are at the start of the bridge or you are stuck at somewhere in traffic or something like that so these kind of things will happen because there is an obstacle the road is above you right yes so basically these waves cannot penetrate through walls guys okay so the frequency range is 300 gigahertz to 400 terahertz guys so the frequency is really high so that is the reason why the data transmission is high and the bandwidth is also high guys right so the data transmission rate will also be really fast and it can also travel for uh, a bit long distances okay yes so the major disadvantage is nothing but they cannot penetrate to walls and also rocks also okay yes so i hope everyone got a small idea guys if you want just observe it next time whenever you're going below a flyover or any kind of bridge guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about signals and types of signals guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching